Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thinkorswim tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to customize the overall appearance settings on the Thinkorswim desktop platform. This is going to include things like changing the basic color scheme of the platform, changing various color settings, and adjusting the overall font size of the platform. Now, jumping right into it, in order to actually access the appearance settings within Thinkorswim, we do need to come up here to the top right hand corner and click on the setup button. Once we open up that menu, you're going to see a bunch of options down below, but all we have to do is find and click on the application settings button. From there, you're going to see it opens up a menu, and this is where you guys are going to be able to access and change most of the platform settings within Thinkorswim. So that's going to include things like the order defaults, the notification settings, and in our case, the overall appearance of the platform. Now, looking over here on the left hand side, we can see all of the menu options, and in our case, to change the appearance settings, most of that can be found in the look and feel section. So coming down here, we're going to go ahead and click on look and feel, and you can see all of the settings on the right hand side that we can adjust. Looking over here, you can see the very first setting is the overall color scheme of the platform, and as of right now, you can see I've got the dark mode selected. If we were to come over here and select it, you can see all of the other themes available in Thinkorswim, or at least the defaults in Thinkorswim. So right there, you can see the light mode, old school toss, Chinese dark, and Chinese light. Now, for those of you wondering what the difference is between uh, regular dark mode and Chinese dark mode or light versus Chinese light, all it does is invert the colors for when a stock is up or down. So over here in the US, typically when we see a stock is going up, you're going to see it's in green. And when we see a stock is going down, it's in red. Well, it's inverted in China. And that's what that mode allows you to do is just invert the colors. But if you guys want to just quickly access a different default template, like let's say you wanted your whole platform to be the light mode of Thinkorswim, we could just come up here and click on it and just hit apply settings down here. And you can see my whole platform changes to the light mode. Now for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of the light settings. So I'm going to come back up here to the setup menu. I'm going to go back to application settings, come on over here to look and feel once again. This time we're going to come over here to the color scheme and instead of picking one of these default menu options like dark, light, or old school toss, we're instead going to create a brand new one, our own color scheme. So for those of you who might not know this, you can actually change all of the colors on Thinkorswim. I mean, we could make this platform blue and yellow if we wanted to for some reason. Now in our case, I'm going to actually use the dark mode as my like baseline template. So we're going to come over here to where it says new base on and I'm going to select the dark mode as the base template. Now, as soon as we click on that, a little menu is going to come up and you can see it's the create color scheme menu. And right here, I'm first off going to give it a name for this one. You can see the default name there is uh, custom dark one. And actually we'll just leave that as the name. But of course you guys could highlight that type in your own name, especially going to have multiple templates in the future. Now, moving on from that, you can actually see down below all of the colors that you can change. And basically it's telling you what these things are, are referencing. For those of you watching who may be colorblind, especially green and red colorblind, these might be the first things that you guys want to change is the price up and price down uh, color scheme on this platform. So let's say, for example, instead of it being green when the stock is going up, you want it to be blue. We could go ahead and click on that and then we could select a color that we wanted to go off of. In this case, we're going to say blue here. And let's say when the stock is going down, we want it to instead be like an orangish color. So we're going to click on this. I'm going to find orange here and click on that there. And let's also say I wanted these like menu options. I don't know if you see kind of like this gray background behind preview of chart. I'm going to go ahead and change that to more of like a dark blue color. So coming over here to where it says static headers, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I kind of like this dark blue color. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to the labels menu up here. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and change that from this lightish gray color to more of like a darkish blue color and hit OK here. And if you look here, it's actually impossible to read those labels now with the uh, the color scheme that I pick. So let's go back here and let's change it back to whitish. So now we can actually read those labels again. And if we were to look through this list a little bit further, I'm just trying to see if there's anything I want to change. Maybe I want my uh, table background, which is more of like your watch list section. Let's say I wanted that to be more of a darkish gray color, actually a lighter gray color. So I'm going to come over here to the more button. And let's say we want it to be like this shading of gray. We'll go ahead and hit OK here. And for right now, let's just check out these new settings that I just created. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save here and I'm going to hit apply settings. So now you can see this new template that I created. I made all of my candlesticks and my price boxes a blue and orangish color here. So you can see it did apply to the chart as well. So looking over here, you can see when it's a green candle or should have been a green candle when the stock went up during that period, it's now blue instead of, of green. And instead of being red when the stock went down, it's now this orangish color. And it might be hard to see over here in the table, but it actually shows it for the price as well. 
but you can see it's gonna take a little bit of tweaking to get this thing set up exactly the way that you like it, because right now this is too light in the background, so I'd probably wanna tweak this even further, coming back to look and feel, coming back to the custom dark mode, and we're gonna edit it once again. This time I'm gonna come back over here, actually let me drag this menu, and I'm gonna look down at the table background again, and I need to make it a darker color. So let's make it this like darker gray color. We'll go ahead and hit save again, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay and apply settings and that looks a whole lot better. But I really just wanna make it clear that you guys can really customize the overall appearance of this platform. If you need to change the color scheme, you can absolutely do it. Now, besides that, the other big thing that you guys may wanna change is the overall font size on the platform. So maybe the font is too small for you guys to read. What we would do is actually go to the exact same place as before. So come on up here to the setup menu, upper right hand corner, bring back up the applications menu. We're gonna come back over to the look and feel menu, and this time we're gonna look at the second subsection here, which says font size. Now at the moment, you can see I've got the large font mode selected, but if I wanted to increase that even further, let's say I wanted to go to the very large font size, I could go ahead and click on that. If we then wanted to check out what that's gonna look like, we come down here to apply settings, and now you can see my font is a whole lot bigger. Now for me personally, this is way too big. I don't need the font size quite this large and it kind of squishes everything else on the platform. So I'm gonna come back up here to setup and I'm gonna go ahead and change that back to uh, the large mode because that's perfectly fine for me. Now, some other things that you guys may or may not want to change is uh, one right here, the menus for navigational tabs. At the moment it says do not show. So if we were to uh, hit apply settings here, you can see that when I click on my menus up here like analyze, scan, mark a watch, these tabs don't appear like down below it. So if you wanted to change that, for example, if we came back up here and went to look and feel once again, and I actually say, I do wanna show those menus, when I click on something like charts, you can actually see the menu of items down below it. So if I put my mouse on scan, we can see the menu down below it. For me personally, I don't like that. So again, I just put it on do not show because I'm not a huge fan of it, but those are some other things that you might wanna change. Now, finally, the last thing you guys may want to change on here in terms of the overall appearance is actually in the display mode. So if I select this and I come over here to where it says price ticks, colors, and watch list, at the moment you can see I currently have font color selected. So over here on the watch list, for example, you can see that the font color changes when the stock goes up or down. So in the case of SPX, you can see that it's currently in blue saying, hey, that stock went up, or in this case, that index went up 15.45 points. If we instead wanted the entire background to change color and the font color to stay the same, basically just a white font color, we could come over here to the background button and go ahead and select that. Coming down here and hitting apply settings, you can now see the big difference between that. So instead of the font color changing to match whether or not the stock went up or down, now the entire background is changing. But as you guys can see, there is a crazy amount of customization available on Thinkorswim. And that's really everything I wanted to cover in today's video. If I did miss anything or you guys have any additional questions for me, please let me know down below. And also, if you guys are interested in learning more about this platform, be sure to check out my Thinkorswim tutorial playlist. There are a ton of videos in there. But we'll go ahead and wrap things up here. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next video.